Hi, this is Sai from Mantralogix. I'm going to give you a quick demo on creating a complementary invoice in Sage ERP X3 version 6.5. Complementary invoice, otherwise called as the additional invoice, will let you to add additional charges like duty fees, freight charges, or other ancillary charges to a different supplier on top of the item supplier invoice. So that's the difference when we use invoicing elements for adding up charges to the item supplier and complementary invoice will let you to add charges to a different supplier. We will also see in this demo the financial implications after creating a complementary invoice. So let us go through the step-by-step -step flow of this process. Step one is to create a purchase order for an item. Under purchasing, orders and select orders so let's select a supplier itm as the item supplier under lines select a product rm as the raw material let's say the quantity as 10 for $2 each and click create. Now the purchase order is created for a value of $20. As a standard process, we then receive the item from the supplier. So step two is to create a receipt for this purchase order. Under receipts, click receipts. Select the supplier. And from the lift list, select the purchase order. The details are populated here. Click create to create the receipt. Step three, we record the invoice from the item supplier. Under invoices, select invoice control. Note that the invoice type should be selected as INV, which is a type to create an invoice through an order or receipt. Select the item supplier ITM. And from the lift list, select order selection to select your order. The details are populated here. Under control tab, enter the invoicing value $20. The supplier document number To create. Let's also post this invoice. Now that the invoice is created and posted. Now focusing on our topic, we are now to create a complementary invoice, let's say to add freight charges on top of this invoice. An important point to note here is that to add freight provided by the same supplier ITM we use this tab called the invoice elements but if it's a third party supplier we change the invoice type as cmp which is the complementary invoice which gives you an option to change the supplier so here the new supplier providing freight is the freight services inc provide a document number under lines, click the corner of the grid, right click and then select preloading the lines. This opens up a new window where you will be able to select the invoice on top of which you can add the freight charges. Select the invoice and now you are to add the freight charges. Now mostly freight charges are also accountable with tags and so here you are required to create a product called freight with tax details and let the value for freight charges be $50. There are options to prorate the amount to the quantity, to the amount of the invoice, the weight or volume of the items in the invoice. 
and click OK. Now this means that the freight value is loaded onto the item invoice. Under Control tab, give the invoicing value as $50 and the tax value 6.5 and click Create. Now we have also created an invoice for the freight value. Let's also post this invoice. Now we can verify that the freight charge is added to the landing cost of the item under stock, utilities, valuation, and value change. Select the product purchase, which is RM001. Now the last line under this segment shows the unit price of the item as per the last transaction. So it shows $7, which actually is derived from $2 of the item plus $5 of freight. Freight of $50 is prorated to 10 quantities and hence $5. And with $2 of item cost, it adds up to $7. Complementary invoicing also works well with suppliers of different currencies and could also be used to account for duty fees and other ancillary charges, which should add up to the landing cost of the item purchased. Thanks for watching this video. To know more about Sage and Sage products, please visit our website mantralogics.com.